it feels like we were reaching for them for 30 minutes when in all reality it was probably under two minutes of actually getting them onto the boat. The only way we were able to see them is the helicopter said we were right above them. So when we got there, we really had to be cautious about what our depth sounding was and we didn't want to get stuck or anything. The kid here that's swimming to us was uh, 20 years old and this other kid was 16. Uh, so as you can tell, the, the uh, 20 year old was, was, was quite strong and was able to swim to us. The 16 year old obviously got tired very quickly and we started to, we, we started to lose him uh, against the current. I remember having a perfect view out the coxswain's window while he went under for that, and that was heart-wrenching. The younger boy, he was a little shooken up, but once they realized, like, oh, we're safe now, it's warm in this boat. The older guy being worried about his boat, too. He's like, can we bring this? And we're like, no, like, <laughs> we're worried about your life right now. You're gonna die of hypothermia if we don't get you out. This is what the Coast Guard trains us for, and this is, this is how we get stuff done. <laughs>